Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to delete the user from the database. So let me show you the application. Uh, I want to click on this uh, red bin and the user will be deleted from the database. So let's create this functionality. So as we can, uh, as you can remember, uh, I hope you remember that we sent uh, the position of the adapter and uh, a boolean value from the uh, RCV adapter. So we are going to do the same for uh, delete functionality as well. So go to RCV adapter and inside this init block that we created inside this inner class. So uh, we can take another uh, functionality for delete image dot uh, set on click listener val position equals to adapter position and we can use this listener dot on click we can pass the position here and we can pass false this time uh, to differentiate the button click now we can go back to main activity and here uh, we had a method let me just collapse every methods because we don't really need them so here we have on click right here so we are uh, we are checking if the status of this boolean if it is true we want to open the dialog of update uh, updating the user and uh, let me just remove this toast we don't really need that now and if uh, this is false so else block uh, i'm just gonna uh, call delete method here because this time we don't really need to delete the uh, so, sorry uh, show the any show any of the dialog box so uh, delete user we can directly call the function here and create a function now uh, to delete a uh, user we obviously need the endpoint so go to api.kt again uh, now actually uh, before that uh, we'll need an id so go back to main activity so same way uh, we can pass a ray list uh, position and dot id we can access id like this so uh, by the way why is not giving us anything uh, too many arguments for private final okay actually uh, and here we have id string so it should resolve the issue yeah uh, go back to api.kt we need to uh, you know we are deleting the user from the database and we are sending id to the database so now again we'll need a post call post call we are sending basically id to a post uh with a post call so endpoint is delete user dot php again we need a uh, form url encoded and uh, the function a name will be uh, let me just make some space here so it's more visible fun uh, delete user and we can uh, send the id in the form of field uh, i'm just gonna copy paste here and call will be of type string and now we can go to main activity.kt and here we again need to have a call of type string and we can use retrofit client.api.delete user and we can pass id here call.nq again everything is same create anonymous object a callback of type string and create uh insert uh, sorry import uh, implement member functions and on response i'm just gonna um, have snack bar snack bar dot make uh, constraint layout um, dollar uh, response dot body snack bar dot length long dot show and I will again uh, call get user method here and i'm just uh, gonna copy paste the on failure where is it okay lock here 
so again make sure while you're copy pasting do not uh, copy paste unnecessary code and if you do make sure you change accordingly so now we can run uh, our application nothing has to be changed and uh, when we are clicking on the uh, red pane the status will be false and hence it will call the delete user function which will basically call the delete api and the user will be deleted from the database so let's delete this rj from here okay the data is deleted and so the user from the list and as we can see in the database as well rj is not here so that's how you create functionality of deleting a user with the help of retrofit and that was it about retrofit i hope you guys enjoyed this mini series about retrofit you can uh there are a lot of other things that uh, is uh that 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 there are there there is in the retrofit to run but uh i just give you the uh, basic idea of how to use retrofit uh we are sending uh fields instead of fields uh, you can send body uh, alongside your response uh, to the api call and you can do a lot of other things in retrofit but this was the basic idea you can play around with it uh, so i hope this was helpful this series was helpful to you and if it is please like this video and sub uh, subscribe to to my channel and share the video uh to your friends who are android enthusiasts so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video